Capricorn, welcome to The Onyx Moon Tarot. Like, share, subscribe, and comment. Go to my Facebook page, The Onyx Moon. Follow and like for a daily pick a card. Capricorn, using the Lover's Oracle for your Oracle message and Dark Woods Tarot for your Tarot card reading. This, there is no gender in Tarot. This is something that could have already happened to you. You could be going through it now. You could go through it in the future. If I'm not pulling on your sun sign of Capricorn, check your moon or rising, or your a cross watcher could be watching it. If none of that resonates, it's just not your region, reading and you can negate it. No worries here. I wish things could be different. Capricorn, somebody wishes things could be different. So what's going on? Sounds like you're not together. Holy Spirit, please give the collective with Capricorn placements. Some amazing got somebody impulsive in your life. Venus. Precise reading. Let me be humble enough to know. Alright, Capricorn. We have a Queen of Cups. Okay, somebody highly intuitive. Could be water. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, highly intuitive, unconditional love, does not mean unconditional bullshit, but unconditional love. Um, up at night, Nine of Swords, air energy, can't sleep, anxiety. Maybe some depression. The lovers. Gemini energy. This is where the choice is being made. Could be you have a choice, somebody had a choice divine or lust based 3d based did somebody make the wrong choice not make a choice not making a choice is a choice five of pentacles left out in the cold okay so somebody made the wrong choice three of cups Somebody likes to party a little bit. They like to have they like to have a lot of people around them. Uh, smoke a little smoke, drink a little drink. They like to have uh, they like to have quite the time. And they really don't see there's a problem with that. are up. Hmm. Okay. So we're going to say you're the queen of cups. Somebody sees you as very loving, unconditionally loving. You're very nurturing, motherly. You're making, you're a very good mother. They could have made the wrong choice. They had a choice to make. And they know that they made the wrong choice. They want to come back. They know they left you out in the cold. They could have also left you... They could have left you without a place to stay. It could have been something like... You were living with them and you split and you had to go hurry up and find some place to stay. You could have been with, a, you might have had a child or you could be the mother of their child. There was a child involved here somehow. Maybe it was their child, but you could have been out in the cold, literally out in the cold. They realized that they made the wrong decision 
Maybe the decision was because of a child. Maybe they went back to someone that they had a child with. They have not changed their ways. They like to I'm seeing that they still like to they like to imbibe. They like to they like to have a drink. They like to have a smoke. They like to have fun with groups of friends. And these friends might not be the best, you know, when you lay down with dogs, you get up with fleas. These people may not be of the highest caliber, but they are not seeing anything wrong with this. It makes you have your walls up. Your walls are up. You are all boarded up. Nobody's, nobody's getting next to you. This person wants to come back to you. They want you to revive the dead. They know you have judgment on them. They know how you feel about them, but they definitely want you to bring them back to life, bring this relationship back to life. You could have a little bit of depression. What was done wrong is going to be made right. You could hear something about a child. Could be good news. So maybe they did have a child. Maybe this was, that's Mr. Topaz. He's, he's a little angry right now. You could hear news about a child or a child could contact you. Something, something about a child. But it's going to be good news. And that may be how this person gets back in touch with you. This could be this could be in regards to your child. They may call you to say, hey, congratulations about X, Y, and Z. Something, something like that. And they, they owe you an apology. So you're going to think that the apology is very insincere. It's going to be a very small apology, if it's even an apology. But they're going to test the waters. It's, um, maybe run into you while you're getting gas, getting a loaf of bread and milk, something like that. And they'll say, oh, hey, I saw, you know, your son made the honor roll. Something, something very small like that. Or how is your daughter or how is your sister son something with children something something that was good news that would be made public and that's kind of going to, going to be their roundabout way of apologizing so maybe they can ask you to meet them for coffee meet them for a drink something like that you are going to get i don't want to say get your lick back but what was done wrong is going to be made right. You are go it's going to come out equal for you. You will have your justice. I'm not going to say karma, but you're going to have your justice. Whether that is going to be getting back together with this person, if that's what you want to do, they may only want to come back just to say, let's not have bad blood, possibly. I, I don't know. I'm not seeing that they want to get back with you. I'm, I see that they want to come back around. How does... Do we have a name for this person? We don't. Hmm. How does the person on Capricorn's mind feel about Capricorn? How does the person on Capricorn's mind feel about Capricorn? Three of Cups. See, again, Three of Cups, Three of Cups. They want to, they like, they like that nightlife. They like that drinking. They, again, they may ask you out for a drink. They may want to extend 
the apology in that roundabout way. You're going to think it's not very sincere and offer friendship. Let's not have it be ugly between us and they might want to extend friendship, maybe to weasel their way back in so that it can be more than that. How does Capricorn feel about the person on their mind? How does the Capricorn Collective feel about the person on their mind? Cherry, you want to get away from them as quick as possible. You want to get away, stay away as quick as possible. Okay, well, I guess that solves that. I don't even need to give you advice because that's what you want to do. We had a similar reading like this for you, Capricorn, that there's somebody that wants to come back that left you with nothing. I'm not going any further than this because we see how you feel. We see what they want to do. They want to friend zone you to try to come back and not really apologize for whatever it was that they did. Yeah, I, I think we had another, somebody had a reading like this. Maybe it was last week or the week before. I don't know. You have to look at my playlist. Capricorn, this is your reading. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Let me know if it resonates. Go to my Facebook page, The Onyx Moon. Follow and like for a daily pick-a-card.